What is going on guys? My name is Ram Bagian from Roman Reviews here and today we're going to be talking about something that I don't normally do. Like I said, I do more animation, anime re reaction videos and anime in general. But, um, Persona 5 R, the preview, finally dropped and I saw it live. Like, I saw it live as it was being played in the fucking concert. Uh, I was watching the stream, um, some guy was able to stream the stream um, and you were able to do that with, he actually bought the premium account on Nico Nico, which is basically a version of YouTube, um, but it has, like, premium accounts and all that, and they showed the, 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 they played the entire concert, and I listened to it at work, and at the very end, they introduced, and they showed Persona 5 R, they showed the preview, which is weird, I thought actually we were gonna get P5S, which is what the, everyone believes is the rumored, uh, P5 Switch, um, which is the vast majority of people is, believe that's what it is, and I still believe it might be. But we'll see. They can throw a switcheroo on us, a. Hey. But yeah, this is something I've been looking forward to ever since they announced it, and I felt like R was going to be a side story, but it turns out it's the they're getting the Persona 4 Golden treatment. In this now, I'm gonna be rewatching it because I've only seen it once. I've only seen it when I watched it live at three in the morning, which was well, actually it was around like five in the morning. Actually, actually it was around six because it was about a three-hour concert. It was like a half an hour of setup and a little bit of other things, two and a half hours of music, and at the very end they showed the Persona Five Royal preview. But the English sub just came out. Um, pr well, I, I'm pretty sure these are translated. At the very most part, so let's see how good they are. Um, but yeah, then we're gonna go back through it. I'm gonna point out some things. Actually, I'll point some things out during the actual intro. Like I said, I'm not going to this blind. But there were some things that I also couldn't watch at all because I was at work when I was watching it. And I couldn't really, like, focus on it the entire time. It was one of those, like, <gasps> while I'm doing stuff, I'm like, oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, shit, I missed something. And I couldn't really go back because the uh, stream was, like, really laggy. So this is gonna be my first time watching it completely. So I'm going to make a full screen, so guys, let's go watch Persona 5 R Preview 1 with subs now. So this is the interrogation room, and that's I played with English dub voices because English is good, don't add me. I'm guessing this is a catchy talking to him. This is Pancake Boy talking to him. But here's the weird part. This isn't... Okay, so this scene right... Well, alright. I'll go do a breakdown later on. I'll play the video. Taking their dreams. And they also show the grappling hook looking at you, uh, Smash. Although, granted, the grappling hook is in the menu screen. See, here, I actually thought this was an an the animation, in a sense, because of the style, which is pretty similar in the animation. You took my heart and my wallet. So it's an, it is an entirely new place. And if you look at that's Kamashita's castle. So they re- they- I'm, I'm guessing they revamped the palaces. And I have no idea who that is, uh, brand new character. So I'm so he's a counselor, but he's wearing a lab uniform. They redid the one dungeon that everyone had been like. And she gave- they gave her an all out attack. だが、少なくとも我が輩たちの働きで悪い可能性は詰めるはずだ。人間にはね、自分に暗示をかけてその通りに自分を変えていく力があるんだ。男子だけで行くぞ。誠や兄は黙っとけよ。期末試験やばか
何が正しいかは自分で決める So also, this girl, Kasumi, I think, is a ballet slash gymnast. I think it would be, it's more fitting that she's a gymnast because Haru was very, um... I can't wait. But because um, Haru was always kind of known as like the gymnast. And it comes out uh, November 31st. October 31st, sorry. Sorry. Halloween. Comes out Halloween. All right, so I'm gonna go play over some things really quickly that I noticed. So we have a catchy. I'm assuming catchy. Like I said, I haven't played the I haven't played the Japanese dub because I, the the English dub is fantastic, and no one should like harp on anyone who plays the English dub because the English dub in this game is fucking fantastic. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like we okay. So in this scene, we have a catchy talking to Ren, which uh, I, I still like calling him Akira. Um, but yeah, he, we have a catchy talking to Ren, but then he automatically, like, this is the weird part. I don't know if he's recollecting himself, and then it's during the same moment where it happened, where the whole time stop happened in the Tokyo Square, where, and then he saw Arsene, the manifestation of Arsene in the back, in like, in the background from where he was looking. It's the same thing, but now it's nighttime and it's snowing, from, I think that's, yeah, it's snowing, there's snow, so I'm guessing, the, and I mean, they're cold, so I'm guessing this might have been during around, maybe December, because I remember during December, I think, or actually on Christmas, it was actually snowing, or Christmas Eve, so it could be around that time, but here's the weird part, so on the monitor right here, I thought this might have been Futaba, because like I said, Futaba has the technological access to hack things and especially like in the game she's able to hack the uh, giant screens in Tokyo Square and then this whole I have taken their dreams that doesn't sound like Futaba's voice actors from what I've heard because it's not as it, 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 I think it's actually of the Kasumi girl the new character the, the new party member. And we know she's a party member because of the trailer. Shows her in a Phantom, Geith, a Phantom Thief gear. And and all that. During her critical attack. And I have to, I actually want to watch that. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Because it makes it, it almost seems like she's mimicking it in a way. From from just a spree thing. I'm going to go look at that. But it says, I have taken their dreams. So I feel like Kasumi is going to be someone who is at... Uh, uh, ends with the Phantom Thieves. She doesn't believe in. She believes in changing people, but not how they're doing it. So I feel like she's probably going to be joining, to be like, I'm joining because you guys do 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 justice, but I'm going to do it my way at the same time. So we'll see. Maybe she's going to be a split off character where you can also control her. Maybe that'd be a really interesting concept. Like you can control her in some aspects. Uh, but yeah, so that that was that. And then of course the intro. So let's just skip through the intro, because like I said, this intro has a lot of Persona 5 at the animation vibes to it. It looks very similar to it, especially like, during the intro too. The intro has a very the for the anime. Tashiko. All right, so Kuchi Kuchi Joji is a brand new place. All right, so Yong and Jaya, where they live, Shibuya, and so it's a brand yeah it, it's. Yeah, so it's a brand new place, but where is it? Exactly? So, yeah, this looks new. Completely new from what I'm looking at this. It looks like they might have... Yeah, yeah, there's... Yeah, it's completely new. There's shops... You know, it actually reminds me of one of the shopping districts from Akiba Strip. Akiba Strip has... Uh, or Akiba's... Akiba Strip. Depends on how we want to do it. It's Akiba's Trip. But... This looks like a lot of the same layout where there's shops and in betweens like there's an alleyway 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 and they're all connected with a bunch of shops in the middle of it i don't remember it's been years since since played occupus strip um but it, it kind of is giving me that feel and then this well they finally introduced they show the grappling hook in motion so <laughs> smash it smashes cannon but if you look i don't know if that is a this scene, this thing right here, this red thing. I don't know if that's like a prompt, 
like a um, user interface prompt um, where it is just shiny red or it's that's just actually the way it looks. But, like I said, this looks like Kamoshida's Castle. Everything about this looks like Kamoshida's Castle. The sky is red. That giant moon. I don't rem really remember if there was a giant moon. Um, I don't really remember much being on that roof scene. But yeah, the, and it's a castle, and there's only one place that has a castle on it. And then this also confirms it pretty much too. Where we have a new sh uh, statue of Kamoshida. They're on top of it. And they press something. It's kind of like how they pull the mouths in the actual, um, in the game to release the drawbridge. <laughs> Except you kicked it. <laughs> Alright, and then that is our first glimpse in the trailer for Kasuma. I think it's Kasuma. I'm almost positive for Kasuma, by the way. And then this guy. Apparently he looks very similar to a character in Persona 3 with the same thing. Glasses, kind of the same style of hair. I think the, the hair was just lighter brown. That's about it. But he looks in between a counselor? He also, Maybe it's a health nurse. If you think about it, because she's wearing her Shujin outfit. She could be a nurse in the school. It's a possibility. They're, they could have actually expanded a lot on the school. So I'm guessing this might be like a school counselor slash nurse. Maybe both at the same time. But that also might not be the case because if you look on the right hand side, the cabinets are filled with medication. The reason why I'm getting the school nurse vibes is because of the... Um, is because of uh, the the background right here, this bedding, which is which has been kind of used before in like Japanese school systems that have a nursing thing where they have a bed, they have the sheets around it too. So we'll see. Although, like I said, I don't know. Like pills were not readily available in the school nurses in Amer well from where I attended to in America, but it might be different in Japan. But this is why I think it's also psychiatrists who's sitting down talking. There's, I, 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 okay, is that lotion? Like I can't tell right there. Is that lotion? I don't know. But yeah, so it seems like it's he's a mixture between a counselor and a nurse slash something. I'm guessing it's a physician, a, a psychologist, and a nurse. And then that scene, and here's another thing. Okay, so this is during um, Haru's father's bank. Um, I can't remember his name exactly right off the top of my head. But it, it is by far the most least liked. It was the least, most least liked dungeon. I think it's because it felt underwhelming. And plus the very next one, which was Size Palace, blew it out of the water. In fact, Size Palace is, I believe, the most favorite dungeon of all of all the dungeons. So yeah. So it looks like they're not going to be adding any new dungeons. They might. I hope that would be really cool if they do. But they're revamping, at the very least, two of them. So they're revamping Kamashita's castle, and they're revamping Haru's father's um, space station dungeon. And then they gave Futaba. And if you think about, it, they actually have the Game Boy noise. That's really cool. Um, they gave Futaba an all-out attack. She can do an all-out attack. In a way. She can at least participate in the battle besides just doing buffs. But yeah, I mean, also, yeah, that, 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 right there, that's, that's an all-out attack, um, screen. But if you look, okay, hold on, if you look at the last second, right before, she's there. So she'll actually appear. They cut it right before. So Futaba is going to appear in the all-out attack, maybe with her own, like, cut-in. That'd be really cool. I can't wait to see that. But yeah, they cut it up right at the very end, right there. In fact, it looks like she's... From the looks of it... It looks like she appears right next to the bomb and explodes onto the screen. But this... This is also, okay, so I have never seen this before. It is in the metaverse because she's wearing a Shujin. But look it, there's cats in the sky, and it almost feels like it's a Haru. Haru something. Because, like, the, these designs up in the sky. But she's right in Morgana. It's M and H. M and H. I don't know what that is. 
And then, of course, her with a grenade launcher. So, hold on. Does she actually shoot at something? Hold on. Give me a I, I want to go frame by frame, right? So, there's a rocket. Oh, okay. So, she does actually hit something. So, she blows it. Uh, she blows up the character of the enemy. And Morgan also hits it with the car. <laughs> I just noticed. Look at fucking Morgana. I didn't even notice that. Morgana's on the. <laughs> Morgana's dead. <laughs> they fucking killed him. <laughs> And even Haru's like, oh no, I killed Morgana, I killed the cat. <laughs> Ryuji's, everyone's crying and just upset. Makoto is sad. Ren's like, at least I can sleep in now. <laughs> at least I don't need to, at least I don't need to sleep in now. And Ryuji's, um, screaming tears of happiness. <laughs> so, okay, also right here. It looks like this scene where he's looking up. It looks like it's the same scene because you can see the snow particles um, during the very beginning with that um, with this scene right here. Hold on, I'm at 148. Um, that scene right here. It looks like it's the same exact scene, and it just it's just someone appearing into the screen, like almost like some Persona 4 flash, um, Persona 4 vibes, where they're in the television. And then of course you you have um, our main protagonist looking at it. This is a brand new scene. So, it, but look, it it doesn't look like any, there's no one, uh, uh, there's Haru, but the main character isn't here, so I'm guessing he's just in the background watching this. But, this is a brand new scene. It looks like they're in, maybe the, maybe the park? Possibly? That would be cool if you can explore a lot of the, like, the hangout spots, even more in depth, outside of just a single frame. That would be really cool. But look, it, that's also a, it looks like a different... They gave her almost softer features in the face. Slightly. Maybe they changed some facial expressions. Because the actual... Because, I mean, honestly, all they do is just change the the eyes and the mouth. Um, to express the, vo uh, the facial changes. So this... This looks like an... <sighs> can't tell. I wonder if... Alright, so... I'm guessing... He just walked away from that... He walked away from what was going on when Makoto was talking about it. Maybe. But then we get to see Kasumi and this guy. Maybe this guy was trying to hit on her. Possibly. And Akira steps in. Or, sorry, Ren. I mean, she says, ah. And... Oh man, it's been so long since I've taken Japanese. I don't even know what that means. I think that's walk up. No, no, I'm not even gonna try. I think that's knee. I think this is knee right here. This character's knee. I don't Suni. No, Su. No, Tani. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm totally wrong. And then this is her. I'm guessing. Uh, hold on. Okay, no. The, the, the just, I was looking at this background really quickly. But this, she is experiencing someone... It, it, kind of like how Ryuji was when he was looking at um, Joker as he emerged for the first time. It's kind of the same thing. And so I can't tell if that was sweat or she cried. Sorry, didn't mean to pause at that time. And then that looks actually... This is a new area. But those look like I I've seen this shot before, like in in real life. That's that's Tokyo, that's Tokyo. Or it might be. Well, is it Shibuya? It, but I've seen like that actual corridor. Aquarium, brand new hangout spot. Yusuke's best girl. All right, so like, okay, so this. Okay, hold on. Oh, looking at the map, this is a completely new area. Or they might have... Okay, so I'm looking at the bottom right. There's a piano. It might be a dumpling? It looks like a dumpling. Uh, vegetables, some food, another thing. Another thing that looks like food. It looks like pot. Pottery. So maybe like a clay pot food? Possibly? This, it looks like Magatamas. Um, those look like a Magatama. I know it's hard to see in here, but these look like Magatamas almost, in a sense. And then, of course, the billiard, so it looks like that's going to be a social area. Uh, yeah, and I'm thinking it's Magatama. I mean, it says stone on. 
So possibly. Hmm. And then, all right, hold on. I want to go back right before the user interface goes up. I want to see if there's anything interesting. No, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, all of them can play. Futaba's there as well. So, and Haru. So this is later on in the game. I wonder if you get, I wonder if, because, okay, so the, a lot of the problems that a lot of people had in Persona 5 was that it felt like things were too rushed and some pe some characters kind of felt a little kind of shoehorned in and not much developed. Haru was definitely probably the number one candidate to that, where I wanted to really like Haru, but there wasn't a lot of built up to her story outside of that whole thing. So I'm hoping we're going to actually get the entire cast assembled and we actually play as a full force Phantom Thieves. But but there's like some time in between. So I'm really hoping, I'm hoping this actually goes longer. It has a longer feel to it. Like you can bond with all of them even more. That's one, that's probably my biggest hope from all of this. And here's another thing. I've, this is a brand new cut in. A brand new, I've never seen the style at all. I wonder if... Some people got new portraits, or they get different portraits based on certain things that are happening. And then, of course, freaking Joker is showing his proficiency by popping the ball over the eight ball to sink a freaking shot. That's beautiful, by the way. And then it looks like we get new all, um, like, new... I wonder if they are, like, if you don't finish off an enemy and, like, it's almost like a... Assist. Yeah. And then freaking, of course, Makoto does aura, aura, aura. Or muda, 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 muda. Yeah. And then we get to see, that's a bad spot to stop at. But we get to see Kasumi's. Hold on, is she playing by herself? No, she's not. Okay. So, oh. Look at her, um, look at her cut, her portrait cutting. That's really cool. You get to see that just the one eye, which all of them, you only see one eye. But it's kind of like, it's almost intimidating. That portrait down there is almost intimidating, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re change society. Oh, that's a really cool portrait. So, yeah, so that is just a critical attack. And I can't tell. It looks almost like a lever action. It looks. It. It is. It is. It is a lever action. Shotgun. That might be a lever action shotgun. I mean, it has. I thought it might have been a Henry repeater, but it doesn't look like it has a hilt, like a stock. It doesn't look like it has a stock, so therefore it probably implies that it is a um, lever action shotgun, a model eighteen eighty seven variant almost. It looks like a. De detailed like you can see the decals um, on the actual side of the gun but we also get to see a really good thing so she also has the same kind of like trench coat as Joker and it very it feels like it, honestly her all her uh, critical hit feels almost like Joker's a little bit a little bit but her design is really cool not gonna lie her design is really cool Alright, so, like I said, she has the gun. She has a very stylish mask with a lot of engravings on the side. Um, and also, she has those, um, boots. Those are almost thigh-high boots. They are thigh-high boots. Um, she also has this rose, rose accessory, for the most part. But yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, this is like, oh, why are you showing thighs on a 16-year-old? She's a gymnast, and if you guys don't know that she's a gymnast, um, if you watch actually right after they show this during the concert, um, it shows the character who she's it's supposed to be, like so, uh, so, someone cosplaying as her, but she was doing the gymnast with that, um, it, it's a baton, but it has a twirly end on it, and you like twirl it, which is very gymnast, it's a gymnast um, move. And yeah, so, it's not them sexualizing a six year old, the fact that you're, that you're immediately going to sexualization just because it shows some lies, I think you're the one at fault in this one, but yeah. And then of course we get new, brand new cutscenes the entire time. So it looks like she's performing to a 
bunch of people. All right, so I'm looking at this now. This is all people in Sujin uniforms, except this person right here. That is not a normal. That is not a normal. That's not a normal uniform. That girl right here. <laughs> So it looks like he's holding on to a helicopter. It might be the same helicopter you see in the very beginning of the game when you're in Size Palace, the one that goes through the um, through the casino area. And then of course, and right here. I know this is going on a very long video, but this is like the most breakdown I've ever done. And it goes on sale November 31st. And then um, Atlas USA posted that it comes out from to the West and the rest of Asia in 2020. So, and the cover art looks great. If you think about it, they have a catchy, actually show a catchy. And his, and they're all in their uni, in their um, I'm a fan of these uniforms. Uh, except for Ka oh, wait, is Kasumi in her uniform? I can't tell. Doesn't look like it. It's a little hard to tell. It's a little hard to tell. But yeah, so I'm really interested. I feel like, I mean, for her to be right in the cover art and also showing Caroline and Justine. But there's no Igor. Yeah, but the, the, I feel like they're, gonna, they're probably going to get a little bit more screen time, especially this girl. But the one thing I also want to talk about, let's go to the actual site. Now. Uh, oh, shoot, that's hard to see. Serpent, Persona 5, which is suppressed a total souls of 15 million, million worldwide, is born with many new elements added it's hard to because uh, okay so i translated the page you still do not know the real persona 5 so yes it's it's kind of a so showing but look at all right so that right there this right here can i click at it that's a new portrait that's a completely new portrait and you get to see her in her in her uniform it's very similar jokers in a way with that trench coat but it's only on the back it's almost like a cape almost but it's a split cape kind of like how his is split right here it's kind of the same way from the other thing. Let's see. But yeah, mementos. And if you look about it, look at all these markings. Those markings weren't in the original that I can remember. This almost looks later on in the game. Maybe when mementos are starting to spill out into the real world, possibly. Um, let's see what else there is. Mishima. I wonder if that's the actual Mishima or that's the cognition. But it looks like he's being used to fight against the Phantom Thieves. Because he looks almost like, he doesn't, he looks like he almost doesn't want to. Um, and then we get to see them in a new place. And it looks like a crepe or a cafe area. And we get to see Kasumi, we get to see Pancake Boy, and we get to see uh, a Joker. Um, is there any more? Oh, there's, okay. Oops. That's cool. So, maybe this is the, um, uh, the screenshot mode that I, we were talking about, okay, so it's a little bit hard to control this. This is the weird part. This is the one thing that raised a lot of eyebrows. But here's what I'm thinking. That has that girl has the same haircut as Haru's mom, um, not Haru's, Futaba's mom. But we know Futaba's mom's dead. I'm thinking this is her friend from school, from middle school, that she wrote about. I'm guessing. That's my guess. Because... They never showed her, so that's my guess. This is this is her friend, and just how it happens to look like his mom. That's during the festival. No, this is a new festival completely. Hmm. Oh, that's during the awakening. It's like she's handing something to her. But yeah, that's during the park. Hmm. Okay. And yeah. And then that is her actual... Yeah, Kasumi. Kasumi Yoshizawa. And I don't know who... Uh, I mean, it's not translated, so yeah. Okay, so here's the weird part. Here's another one of her... Um, her images. Get to see more in depth detail. Actually, look, looking at it now, it does have a stock. But it still kind of feels like a lever action. It looks, It feels like a lever action. This is the casino. Look it, there's dice, it's the casino guards, there's even more dice. So we're going to get to a new section of the of Size Palace. 
Oh, that's really cool. And then the cafeteria. That this was actually in the game. Like the, the like they did um they did a data mine of all of Persona Five, and this is in the game. Like this is straight up in the game. They just never were able to incorporate it. So it looks like that's going to be incorporated. Uh, just trying to see. No. And this is the new one. This is there is a new social link to cons consultant. Uh, a new collaborator of the Monster Thief, a part-time school counselor who has been appointed as a part of a consideration for students triggered by an incident of a certain teacher that happened in April at Shujin Academy. Oh, okay. All right, this is the first time I'm seeing this page, by the way. Completely the first time. Arcana is an advisor. Students are well-received if they have good advice and accurate advice. Very interesting. And even... Yep, so he is a school advisor... Uh, counselor. And then, I don't know what this two is, three... Third semester life, which is not told in Persona 5, is finally revealed. So we are going to third semester. And... Yeah. That's Morgana. That's Morgana. Teddy got its own form. Although, Teddy looks straight up like a chick. At least he actually is looks like a guy, and Swiggity Swooty, he's coming for On's booty. <laughs> but yeah, and then this one, it's a new thing because we never got to see Futaba in a kimono, we never got to see Haru in a kimono at all, and these kimonos are different. And then we got Kasumi. So this is a brand new thing. This is with all the um, Phantom these here, and not including the catch for reasons. But yeah. And I don't know what this is. Student life is further enhanced by the appearance of new cities and collaborations with Dart Live. Okay. Added a popular spot, Kichijoji, um, Kichijoji, that represents Tokyo. Oh, so it is a representation of Tokyo, but they're not going to call it Tokyo. Okay. That's cool. Then, completely reproduced Dart Live's latest Dart machine, Dart Live 3. Hmm. Okay. And then, of course, you can, um... Take her to the aquarium. And then you can take Caroline and Justine. That looks almost like the uh, the Disneyland area that Haru took you to. Which I, w I really wish they... Uh, I really hope they expand upon because we only got to see that one time. And then you can also take apparently like some pictures. Which is really cool. And that looks like it's during the... Yeah, that's during the buffet. Because she's eating all the sweets. Yeah, that's during the buffet and fucking Morgana. Fucking Morgana. And if you look at it, this is 5-5. Five, five. That's probably during it. Uh, is there anything else in the background? No, it looks like he, that he didn't clean his room yet. New strategies required for combat. Dual life as a monster thief. I'm, I, I, they're, I'm pretty sure they're meant to do um, Phantom Thief, but yeah. So, it looks like a new form of enemies. We'll see. Sorry, my Discord's going off. Um, this one almost looks dark. That's a very dark looking version of the velvet room that's a really dark version of the dark velvet room oh oh that's some nightmare fuel, fuel right there what is that it's a, okay so that's a you know that's almost giving me um dark watch vibes which is an old game on xbox and playstation um where there was like these mantles of like it was like a creepy like mixture of bones and uh and it was like the souls of someone was resonating in these things, and you could like collect them and either release them or collect them. And if you collect them, that's a, I want to see what that is. That's actually really interesting. I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's like a shrine and you can interact with it. It's even easier to play, and the additional elements are fulfilling. Okay. It wasn't really that hard to begin in the first place. All right, so co op assist. Co-op assist. They're in Shibuya because you can tell you can actually see the Shibuya. What? Hmm. Uh, maybe that's a translation thing. PS4 Pro graphics are also powered up. The more beautiful Persona 5 world is PS4, and of course, like I said, this is just a direct translation from Google, so I don't know how accurate this is. Probably not. And of course, high definition, high quality PS4 Pro. Okay, if you, so if you have the PS4 Pro, it's gonna. Uh, increase. Um, sound composer Meg um, uh, Meguro Shoji 
added many new recordings. Of course, vocals such as opening, ending, battle songs are in charge of Lynn. Nice. So we are guaranteeing new music. Well, I mean, we got that from the uh, trailer, too. Time to personify the Royale. Um, hard? I don't know. I'm guessing that's just, like, the hardware. It is PlayStation 4. Um, so the regular edition is 88,000 yen, which is about about $85. No, it's a little less. But still, that's a lot of money. And then the limited edition is about 130 bucks, Around. I don't know what's Sarah. I'm guessing that's like the uh, R, um, the ESRB rating over there. Uh, okay, players one person. Okay, so I was just I was like, there's no way they're adding a co-op. Okay, so it is one, back to one person. I wondered what that co-op thing is. Maybe it's just something else um, when it gets translated. But yeah, that it is cool though. Like I don't remember having this graphic in the real world. Like that whole like the whole that's like the battle your user interface. In the real world. But yeah. Alright, so I'm really excited. By the way. Yeah, I'm going to um I'm gonna stream I'm gonna do a let's play of this. A full let's play on this channel if if it's still around. Or I'll I'll make it I'll fucking make a channel or I'll go back to my original channel, my original gaming channel and post it there. But we'll see what happens. It's we're not getting anything until twenty twenty, but maybe we'll get some information later on. Uh tomorrow we're gonna be talking about Persona Five Switch or PFP five S. We'll see what's happening with that, because that also looks really interesting. I'm assuming it's Switch, but who knows? Maybe the Switch version is going to include the Royal Edition? Maybe we'll see, but uh, I think it would be P5 uh, P5RS or something like that. P5R slash S or something like that. Dash S. But yeah, anyways, guys, I spent over over half an hour talking about just a breakdown of this entire thing. Let me know if I missed anything. This is probably the most in depth I've looked into everything. Like I said, this entire I saw some of these pictures before on Twitter, but being able to go through it all, I'm, I'm gonna leave a link to the actual video with this english subs that i used and the uh the actual site in the com in the in the um description so you can check it out yourselves and you can also see the promotional video here which we just watched um and then yeah i don't know what this is i guess can you, you can have, you can buy it yeah you can buy it you can already pre-order it if if i can actually bring it over and i can get english subs i might actually i might just get it early if i can get the english subs if not then i'll wait Hell, I'm probably even buy it twice in that case, just to play it. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I miss anything or if there's any new information. Post it in the comment section below because I, I would love to hear it. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know there was a lot of just talking and a lot of just going over things. But like I said, Persona 5 was one of my favorite games of 2017. That one and Nier Automata, those, those were my, by far my two favorite games of that year. And now we're getting the enhanced edition that I felt... This game, if it, if it makes good on all the things that I had wanted the original game to do, this is probably going to be my favorite game of all time. Probably. And I want to see how they do it. I want to see how they change the storyline. We'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to go do another video of some another anime reaction that I need to do today. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go hurry up and upload this. Uh, and then I'll get on that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything you're really looking forward to or things you pointed that you I might have missed while you pointed it out. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you... Oh, wait a second. Next information. April 9th. Uh, sorry, May 9th. May 9th. Wow. We're getting more information on that. So we're getting more information on Persona 5R. Because if you think about it, they showed a lot... But they can show a lot more. If they've been working on this for a while. Yeah, so. 5th, the 9th of March, uh, May. Expect another video. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.